let's go through some basic steps of using the Cilium CLI to install Cilium into our Kubernetes cluster. So I'm actually using the iSurveillance hands-on labs, which are free. Uh, you can see here we're using the Getting Started lab. Um, you can go to iSurveillance.com forward slash labs to get started with that. So first and foremost, let's have a quick look at the CLI tool itself. So it's already installed on my machine. We're going to look at Cilium install hyphen H for help. And you'll see that there's a number of flags available as well. Um, a couple of my favorite things to do here actually is we can actually run a dry run and we can do a dry run with Helm values as well. Um, and that tells us what's going to happen inside of our environment if we run Cilium install before we actually do it. So that's really useful for testing going forward. We're also going to have a quick look at the list versions command. So actually we can go off and find the latest versions of Cilium that are available um, and then decide which one we want to uh, install from inside of our environment. We don't always have to get the, the, the uh, latest and greatest there. Um, we've got a couple of others. So for example, we've got the set and this mirrors um, installing using Helm, for example. Um, so actually we have something called Helm mode now in the Cilium CLI um, that essentially allows you to use one or the other to configure your environment, but also you can switch easily between the two as well. And that's kind of the default usage mode for the Cilium CLI going forward from 1.14 onwards. Um, and then of course, as well, you'll see this in some of our labs is we've got a wait command as well, which allows us to wait uh, and not move on from the terminal window until that installation is finished. So if I clear this now, uh, let's get started. So really simple, the easiest way to do this is to run Cilium install. That will basically connect to our cluster, figure out what version of Kubernetes it is. Uh, it will install the version of Cilium that aligns the CLI release at that moment in time as well. Um, and it will use the default auto-generated uh, uh, commands to, for your environment. So it will detect whether it's kind, whether it's AWS, GCP, uh, whether it's a, a bare metal cluster, for example, basically use like a generated set of default values for that as well. Um, I'm not gonna run that quite yet because I'm also just gonna show you some of the additional commands as well. So as to this, we can use, for example, the set command, the same way that we would do with um, uh, with Helm. So then we can do things like setting the IPAM mode. So maybe we want to set it to IPAM mode Kubernetes. Uh, maybe as well, we want to do things like uh, require uh, IPv4 pod side is equals true. So we can start to build that up very, very similar. Um, of course, you may, however, also have a values file. So we can do the hyphen hyphen values argument and then specify the location of our Cilium values file as well. Again, very similar to Helm from that point of view. Uh, I think that makes it really, really useful. Um, before we move on with that though, let's also kind of look at this ability to see our different versions available. So if I do hyphen, hyphen list, hyphen versions, this is going to show us all of the different versions that are available to install in our environment, including those release candidates as well. Um, you'll also notice sometimes we release snapshots, or rather the maintainers of Cilium do as well with certain features that have been added. Um, and that allows as well so we can easily test inside of environments. You can do that from the Cilium CLI inside of your platform as well. So let's try this with a particular Cilium version. So we we'll do Cilium install. I'm going to set the version and we'll do the free uh, the 1.15.0 release and I'm going to set uh, so it's IPAM mode equals Kubernetes. So we can see now it's detecting our version in our environment. It then goes off. It then tells us what version of Cilium it is. It auto detects. It tells that kubeproxy has been installed as well. And that's now installed Cilium inside of our environment. So that's all up and running nice and easily. We also even have the ability to uninstall Cilium. So I can just run Cilium install. That deletes anything that's been installed inside of our environment as well. Start to clean that up. Inside of your platform, you may have a couple of additional operations that you need to do to clean uh, other artifacts up that are left over once you've removed the CNI, because of course you've removed the networking component from your Kubernetes environment if you are using that command. One of the last areas that I wanted to focus on here 
um, was being able to build using a CI image. So if you're looking at Cilium uh, in the GitHub repo, you'll probably notice that we obviously have a lot of pull requests that go on, a lot of new features being added, or even sometimes things fixes, for example, are backported to actually major versions as well from the latest major version to one previous before that. Um, so how do we actually test that as well? Because maybe you can't move to 1.15 to get hold of that um, particular fix, but it has been backported into 1.14, but you want to test it before that release is available. So here I've opened up one of those such backporting uh, PRs. If we go to the check here, if we scroll down the left hand side, we should see something called image CI build. This is where it builds all the available images for CI. And then if we see the last task here, which is display digests. And then if we go inside of that task with inside that job, and then we were looking for the output here, we can then see all of the different CI builds that are available that we can use inside of our environment. So for example, we can see the different um, uh, Cilium uh, agents that are being built, the API service if we're using cluster mesh, for example, or KV store for KV store mesh. Um, and we can take each of those and use that. So what does that look like going forward? Well, again, um, we can then use the Cilium um, installation to handle that for us. So with Cilium uh, install, and then if I just put a space here, we can then use a set of commands like so. So here, what we're doing going forward is we're setting our new image repository to that of the Cilium CI that we've just seen, and that we want to use a specific tab uh, tag to pull that image that was built as that CI as well. And then we can install that. And again, we can still combine that with multiple parameters and values, either using the set command or a values file as well. Okay, so that was a really quick run through of using the Cilium uh, CLI tool to install Cilium inside of our environment. To learn more about both the Cilium CLI and the Cilium Agent CLI, why not download our Cilium cheat sheet from isovalent.com? As you can see, it's very in depth. It's been put together by one of our own in house designers at Isovalent and looks absolutely gorgeous. And you can see we've got things like how to upgrade Cilium, how to configure uh, Cilium config maps. Um, if we go more over to the right hand side, then we start to use those um, commands inside the Cilium agent itself. So things like Cilium DGP policy, so we can view those and see how they've been applied inside of our environment from a debugging point of view. We can look at uh, FQDN caches for if we're using the layer seven proxies, for example. Um, lots of really great information in there and hopefully make your life a lot easier when using the Cilium platform as well. So head on over to isovalent.com or find the short link below. Thank you very much.